Sometimes fetching secrets directly from Vault isn't practical because services require secrets from native CSP secrets managers or developers prefer to use native secrets managers, but this contributes to secret sprawl. So let's take a look at how Vault Enterprise Secret Sync can help. First, I'll click on Create a Destination, and then I can see there's five different destination types I can choose from, and I'm going to use AWS Secrets Manager. First thing I do is I give my new destination a name, and then I already have created an IM user account in AWS, so I'm going to use that region information. And this is optional, but I'm going to also add a custom tag or a couple of custom tags to provide additional metadata I can use. And then lastly, I'll enter in my access key ID and secret access key from that account. Then I'll click Save. Once I've done this, I can see the details here. And I can also take action to edit that destination if I need to, or at some point, if I want to delete it, I can also do that. I don't have any synced secrets at this point. So next I'm gonna go over to my Secrets Engine interface and then select my KB Secrets Engine so I can create a new secret. First, I'll go ahead and give it a path, and then go ahead and enter my secret data in there, and then click Save. Now we'll jump back into Secret Sync, and then I'm going to click on the Destinations tab. And if you have multiple destinations configured, you'll see them listed here, and you can filter by type or name. I just have the one destination configured, so I'll select that and click on Sync Secrets, set up the association between my KV mount, my secret path, and my AWS Secrets Manager destination. The banner at the top tells me my sync has been initiated. So I can either sync another secret from here, or I can view my synced secrets, which is what I'm going to do next. When I hit refresh, you can see my secret sync configured here. Clicking on the configured secret sync takes you to the secrets engine UI, where you can also get a convenient banner at the top, showing you the status of your secret sync from within your secrets management interface. Jumping over to AWS Secrets Manager, I can now see that my secret has synced at the top. So I can click on Retrieve Secret Value, and I'll see my key value information. So let's go back into Vault and create a new version of that secret. And then click Save. Once I've done it, this new version is automatically going to sync with AWS Secrets Manager, and then we can see the results here. I can also unsync my secrets just as easily. So going back into Vault, I'll go back into the Secrets Sync interface and select that secret. From the drop down menu, I can click on unsync and then confirm it. And my secret will no longer be synced with AWS Secrets Manager. And we will jump back over and we can see that secret is no longer in AWS Secrets Manager. As you can see, the new secret sync capabilities and user interface in Vault Enterprise make it easier to get centralized control and visibility over your KV secrets.